So we built a lot of Jeeps over the last 2015 year and uh, we thought it'd be good to take our customers out and go to Moab before Easter Jeep Safari. We hadn't even got unpacked before we got a phone call that a friend was already broke down on the trail. Jeep wouldn't start on Gold Bar Rim. So we went and grabbed a spare battery, grabbed tools, grabbed almost everything you think of, you know. Of course we did a V8 conversion on this Jeep, so it's not just your normal, you need a 10 millimeter, you needed a 3.8 ratchet and a, you know, all these different things to get there. When we open his doors, electric step comes down, he's got battery power, lights are on, no start. So we lift the hood, pull the fuse, you know, start checking. Fuses are all good. Start chasing the wiring harness and find that uh, one of the leads wasn't connected to the starter, so. Actually, let me touch this wire and try and try and start it. Yep. We touched it, fired it up, fixed it within 10 minutes, and we were ready to go. In the van. But of course, on the way back down, we just had to play around, you know. <laughs> We're there, you're in Moab, you know, it's night run, let's go have some fun. So being that a lot of people hadn't been to Moab that were with us, and it was their first time, we had to hit Hell's Revenge. You know, Hell's Revenge is one of those iconic trails that if you haven't been to Moab, you gotta do. If you've seen pictures, it's of Hell's Revenge. If you've watched videos in Moab, it's Hell's Revenge. So we thought it'd be a good one to start our day off with a big group, you know, in the first morning it takes a little bit to get everyone going by the time you get aired down and all that, but it turned into an outstanding day. The weather was perfect. Hell's Revenge is a really cool trail. If you haven't been to Moab, it's definitely one you gotta do. It's something that everyone in a stock vehicle to a fully modified vehicle can go on and have fun. Um, it's really neat to me because you're just driving over lots and lots of slick rock, you know, and, you know, but really after so long, it's nice to just hit a couple good obstacles. <laughs> there's a spot called Escalator. It looks like it really wouldn't be that bad, but if you've been there, you've watched every four-door JK hit the right rear corner or the fender, and or you see Jeeps tip over in there. There's that fine line of keeping your tire on the wall or being down in the hole. <laughs> driving along all the red slick rock, you know, you're looking around, you're looking around, and then 
out of nowhere right there to your left is a big old bathtub, one that could swallow a four-door Jeep. We had to try it. Justin said it was on his bucket list and wanted to knock that obstacle out. He's watched it, you know. Takes his T-tops off so he can see as he drops down in. He's watching me, he's just right on the line, just perfect, smooth, gets up to it. He's so excited, forgets to turn on his lockers and uh, climbs right out of it. <laughs> After a couple good days of wheeling, it was nice to uh, end the day with gold bar rim and crossing through the golden crack with the sunset dropping behind you. I don't think you can get a much better sunset than that anywhere else. When you get a lot of people together that are all for one thing or really easy going and happy people, it's really hard not to have a good time. <laughs>